Hey guys, it's me, and I'm in the world of Skyrim just like every other sane person that owns any sort of video game device system. And I told you if I found anything interesting I would share it, and here it is. Apparently in Skyrim, and I didn't know this until I just came across it, you can actually become a werewolf, which is pretty effing badass. So let me just show it off really quick. Quit beast form, and... I can only use this once a day. Damn it. Well, I guess I can talk about it while I'm waiting. Um, basically, you have to go through the Companions Guild. And there's a point in the Companions Guild where you will get this, and I'm not going to spoil it or anything like that. But you get this ability, and you can activate it sort of at will, like any sort of power once a day. And... Uh, Past that, it doesn't seem to have any side effects. Like, vampires can't go out in the sunlight or something like that. But as far as I can tell, the only detriment to being a werewolf is people think you smell funny. And you have 100% resistance to diseases as well. So let me show it off really quick. Yes, I'm a cat turning into a giant dog. Just, just, just go with it for now. But here you go, you get your own little custom UI, and you can't access your character menu while you're in this form. But you can just book it with your sprint ability. And your left and right trigger buttons turn into just standard melee claw attacks. And I'll see if I can go find something to beat on really quick out in the middle of the wilderness here. But I doubt it. Just straight offhand. Oh, maybe. Is that battle music? I think it is. What's the lucky thing I get to kill? Tuscan, why the hell are you playing Dungeon Defenders? This, this, seriously, dude? Seriously? Okay, well, I can't find anything out here, and I, I can't see anything. So I'm just going to run straight into Riven Roar, and I'm going to just uh, make a mess out of everything. Because <laughs> that'll be fun, right? Am I right? Yep, yep, that'll be fun. Here we go. Hello! Hi, you want hugs? Hug me! Hug me! Hug me! <laughs> it's pretty hilarious. I'm out of stamina because I'm dumb, but... It's pretty powerful. You can see it kind of like... Does a bit of damage, and it actually has a lot of really fun grapple abilities and knockbacks and crap like that. And it is effing powerful. Like... <laughs> I just knocked him over that fence, basically. And you can really, really make a mess of some people if you get good at using this form. I'm probably going to get taken down by the town guards here in a little bit, though. But, yeah. Suck it, old lady. Come here, Mr. Cow. Come here. I have an arrow stuck in my head. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Die! Die, yeah, get back here. Alright, well that's the gist, anyway, I hope you enjoyed that, and it kind of, I'm not really sure how to cancel it actually, I basically, so far, I just sort of go off in the wilderness and then wait for it to kind of end, like it seems to be coming to a close here. But it's pretty awesome. It's 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 it. I wasn't expecting this to be in Skyrim, and here it is. So, there you go. Get back to playing now. Uh, I think I think it's actually yep yep. Oh, that's another thing I forgot. Um, after you end the form, um, you kind of aren't wearing anything, so keep that in mind. It's a little bit awkward to suddenly be in the middle of combat without any armor or pretty much protection for that matter. So uh werewolves in Skyrim, but da 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 da.